Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark filming this. Todd, what are we doing? We're going to show you how to hook up your BWT water conditioning system to your espresso machine and another appliance, or like a refrigerator, or maybe you want to put a faucet in it's for drinking water. Mm -hmm. So with this video, we're going to assume you already have this hooked up, and we're going to show you the hookup side. Sure. Now, if you like these videos, of course, subscribe and hit that little button that tells you. What a little is, coffee bean down there. Coffee right. bean, thank yeah, you. That's you usually go. Mark's job to do that. <laughs> he says, Todd, you got to do it. Yep. So I did it. Okay, let's jump right in here. So I got all my parts and pieces. And so if you're going to hook up to both, well, two items, you're going to want to have to do this. You're going to want to do this in plastic. So to start with, on the outlet of the filter, uh, this BWT fitting here. We have those. We, yeah, which we sell on our site. And it has a gasket built into it already. So we'll put that on there. And don't want to crank these, just snug it. Mm -hmm. And that'll hold that. Then we're going to want to go to plastic to a T. Okay, so we'll use a little bit of this. This is also good if you need to do long runs. Using the plastic. Using yeah. plastic goes. Those work perfect. So that just pushes into there. Mm -hmm. Take your T, pushes into there. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to, to go to your machine, Normally you'll have a 3 8 BSP there. We'll have this 3 8 fitting here, which is, which is this. Okay. okay, that's what we're using for that. And when you go between plastic and metal, it's a good idea to use some of this type of sealant, according to a plumber friend of mine who I very much trust. Been you on the block a few times. Okay, I'm gonna pull my usual make a mess. Okay. And uh, you will notice, NSF approved. Yep. Okay. So that's going to the espresso machine. Yep. Now with this, you will have to snug this down pretty good. And you get to use a little judgment call on how, what pretty good is, but I'll show mm -hmm. you. I'll listen for the grunts. <laughs> if I grunt on this one, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> So not grunt tight, right? Yeah, not grunt tight, definitely <laughs> okay. not. You'll feel it start to snug up, uh -huh. then just give it a little bit more. And then you're good. And you're good. Okay. Okay. Then we can take another piece of plastic, which is a little straighter, but easier to show, but that's all right. I'll deal with it. Mm -hmm. Cut as square as you can. It goes into there. And this goes into here. Okay, now I'm going to lay this on the side so this whole thing doesn't tip over, over me. Yeah. Now this is the side we're going to run to whatever else you want to go to. You know, refrigerator or a separate faucet for drinking water, because this is good water. Now, here's the next piece you'll need. Okay, I got that from the local hardware store. So you're going from uh, plastic to 3 8 compression. The okay. create standard American type fitting. Now on this outlet, this is the side that we're going to hook up to the plastic. It comes with, whichever one you get will come with some sort of metal ferrule or sleeve in there. We're going right. to buy some plastic ones. So they're those. Yep. yep. Almost free. So uh -huh. cheap. Almost free. Almost free. So this will go and push that into there. Mm -hmm. Put your nut on there. Put your plastic with a tapered side facing this hose. I'm using that plastic sleeve because you're compressing yeah. plastic. Exactly. <laughs> so you want to get rid of the metal one that typically comes in there. Yeah. That's the idea. Without question, because the metal would, it won't form to this like we need it to. Right. And we tighten this down. When you're tightening this, just make sure the plastic doesn't pull out. Okay. Have the wrench face the right direction. Look, I know what I'm doing. Okay, now when you're tightening this, tightening this down, you want to snug it, but you don't want to go crazy on it. Because if you do, if you get real tight, it'll deform the plastic where it goes in there, and you'll see that, and you go, ah, crap, and you just start again. Not a big deal. Right. So I'll keep going to. You feel it start to bottom out. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, stop. Okay. And then this will just three eighth compression can go to whatever you're going to have whatever you're using. And yep. if it doesn't fit whatever you have in the house, just go to the, your local hardware store and tell them you have 3 8 compression and you have to go to whatever your fitting is that you need to go to. Beautiful. So, pretty simple, uh, and that'll work really well. All right, Todd, thank you. Very good, thanks for watching. 
Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.